So, we are walking around the Millennium Way in Kenilworth, having a, a nice walk, and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. You can see the castle in the distance there. And now we're coming up to a gate and we're moving towards the muddy part. There's the sun up there in the sky, which is where it normally is, obviously. So, so that's not where we go. We go this way. Once again into the mud. Uh, you will have noticed that uh, I end up in mud almost on any walk that I go for. Ah, there's a Tudor rose on there, look. Of course, this is a Tudor castle. Kenilworth Castle in Warwickshire, United Kingdom. What a view. Um, you've probably seen this before if you've watched a lot of my videos, because having had a million views, you may well have been one of the ones who've looked at it before. I just sort of occurred to me that it's probably not a million viewers. It's probably one person viewed a million times, but never mind. Right. We will push onward ever onward across the fields. There's a few people doing this walk today. And uh, my good lady is asked for a slowing up now. I think she's uh, busy paddling through the mud. Now I think it's by this next gate where all the mud is, but uh, we will see. Just look at that. Let's give you a better, a better view of that. Look at that. Wonderful castle. Normally we would go in there and go round the castle, but uh, we can't. We can't do that now. And uh, you can see St Nick's spire through there, the church the other side of the park, which was part of uh, the abbey. And uh, when Queen Elizabeth visited this castle, Queen Elizabeth I, that is, and they put on a big pageant for her and lots of performances. Uh, she actually came uh, and went along to to that church, to St. Nick's, St. Nicholas. And uh, of course, at that time, there was a moat right round the castle. And some of this area where we are, you can see it's quite low laying, was all part of the lake. and. She would come out and her boat onto the lake. And of course they would be fishing and shooting fowl. And uh, now this is the gate. I call this the challenge gate. Why do I call it the challenge gate? Because it's a bit of a challenge getting through the mud. But um, I think what I did before, Irene, is get right over this side, up the bank where the water drains off. And then we can, because the gate is up that edge. Yeah. Now, I've not been round this way for a, a week or two. Oh my word. We will see. I'm wondering which side is best, Irene, because that looks like a lot of people have done that top there. I'm going this way, love. Yeah, look at this. Talk about the Slough of Despond. Um, yep, no, that was the right, we were right the first time. I think it's up on the top there. So, can you just see this? Look at this. Do you want a hand, my darling? I might do. I... This is not going to be easy, by the way. I don't know. You've got to come all along that edge there. Look, is it worth going around and across that bit? 
Or is that too thick there? What do you reckon? I don't know. Looks, oh, hang. I, don't I think... wish I'd held your other hand. Um, I think we better stop this now because we've got a problem to get through all this stuff. So bye for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It's the Rambling Rambler, Dave to his friends here in Kenilworth, Warwickshire, United Kingdom. Bye for now.